G'day. In today's video, I'm opening up a JBL Flip Essential. We have the model number written along here. We can see that on the camera. Probably not. But anyway, this particular one has a damaged charger port on it. And I want to get inside of it. So from what I've seen, I should be able to take it off the mesh, take off the plastic trim, and slowly work my way into the, the device from here. So to begin with, make sure it's switched off. Okay. Actually prying up a lot easier than I was anticipating. Should be the same on the other side. Hopefully. Yep. Go. Cut that off. We reveal the speakers. And this end cap, from what I see, should push out. I'm seeing a couple of screws in the end there. One, two, three, four. Let me give them a hit the screwdriver. Definitely holding it on. Now the screws don't want to come out, of course. Now to get to the main board that I want to repair, I don't know how far, oh, how completely I have to tear this down. Okay. up as well. Nothing down there. One screw, two screw. Three screw. Four screw. It looks like we've got to undo the ends. This is gonna take a bit longer than anticipated. Definitely done up very well. <laughs> I'm gonna go off the assumption that all screws need to come out of this. Slightly different size and screws for that connector. We'll cover. So, okay, this is going to be a very long repair. Look at that amount of glue that's in there. That connector, it's toast. Take that off completely. Lucky for us, the actual traces are still good. One, two, three, four, five. Solder still on there perfectly fine. Remove some of that glue, I might actually be able to reattach it without having to fully tear this down, which will save a fair bit of time. So I'm going to try to do it the quick method, which usually turns into the long method. So we'll dig one step further. To see if I can reattach this. Hopefully that board there is a separate board that comes out and I can get to it without having to do too much more work. But of course, that is not going to be the case. Let's take out these five screws and find out. Okay. 
Originally this was dropped in with a charging issue or a no charging issue. As you can see, you can definitely see why it was not charging. The connector itself had been wiggled loose. Probably almost needed like a bracket around it to hold it in, into position. But the customer did also mention this is around two years old. So two years of on and off charging for probably once a week. Jamming a cable in there and just hoping for the best, I would say it's probably stood the test of time okay. Now how does this pop off? Like so. This looks like it's very modular. You can see some cables going around here. I almost suspect that the glue is mainly holding it in. And its cable is this big one down here. By the looks of it, more of this will need to be disassembled. I do find it cool nowadays with modern technology how well or how loud these tiny speakers, how much, how much range of audio they can produce where they're doing bass, the highs, the lows. They're able to reproduce a fair bit of audio from such a small speaker. You have a little battery powered drill right now, that would make this so much easier. I myself need to get my hands on one of those. I do have my normal standard industrial drill, but nothing just for quick little screws. So that should be on my next list of per my things to purchase, tools to purchase. I'm hoping with this speaker's removed, there's enough wiggle room to get that board out. Down here we have a few more flex connectors. Which I would say, a little bit of wire floating around in there. Right, we're going to town, all the things going apart. I don't know why that's taped on there. It's a bit of pain in the ass. It did disconnect from that connector here. This is probably for the battery. Okay.
disconnected. Pretty much got most of that disconnected at the moment. I think there was some madman that produced this. We also made it a one way straight. Try the old tweezers method. Pull. No, no help there, that glue is strong. Hmm. Now I'll try and dig in here. I almost feel like this is soldered directly under the board and it's not actually a clip. If that is the case, getting out is going to be very tricky. I'm possibly getting the board out. moving now. It's more than what it was doing before. Still a connector connected. Just trying to figure out where he is. This one. Okay.
Look at that wob of glue. <laughs> to two connectors that can't be disconnected. But what I want to look at is here. We can damage over here a little bit, that should be okay. Here's where I'm looking for these solder points on here. There's five of them on the USB. I should be able to reattach this one. Put some new solder on there, clean it up, and that should be okay. So from here I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna reassemble what doesn't need to be put back together. Or well, didn't need to actually come apart. And from there I'm gonna solder this and then put it all back together. And now what I'll try and do is get it back into here. I think I need to remove some more glue to make it a bit more accessible. Go around the other way. But I'll just keep going with it to try and get it into its position. Around. Go. That's around the right way now. You can see this one's at the top, this one's at the bottom. Hopefully. A little bit of luck. Okay. That's basically where it lives. It does seem to be sticking out a bit too much. Would have expected to go back a bit further. No, that's the right location for it. Then go. And hold that in position. I'm going to screw that back on. And now. And then it's a matter of reconnecting everything that I've disconnected. So most of that didn't actually have to be disconnected to get it to this stage. So that is a bit disappointing that I did get that effort to do that. But it did give you a bit more of a full teardown view of this device. Bigger screwdriver. And having a manual drill for this would make it so much easier. As I do require a fair bit of torque to tighten them down. But what I'm going to do now is reconnect everything. And before I fully assemble it, I want to connect it, test out that USB port that's been reattached, just to make sure it's going to charge. Rather than go to the full effort of reassembling absolutely everything and finding out it's actually still no good. Okay. 
one. Now, put in the big one. This has looked to be a bit challenging. Tweezers will make this a lot simpler. Like so. Get fed up there. into there, if our mem memory serves me right. We can push into there like so. That's that side. So we're reconnected, that's all good. This speaker here did need to come out, the other one did not. screw in here just to hold it bouncing around in front of me next up is these connections over here Battery connection does look very straightforward. I'll use that to do that last. I'll use the assistance of the tweezers. Slide that in. Through here. The latch isn't fully up. Latch in the upright position. Make it a bit easier. Or maybe not. Uh, that angle worked much better. I believe it's in. If I push it in any further. Next up is this one. Got it. Next up is battery. Battery reconnected. Looking good, looking good, looking good. So from here on, I think I'll try it out on the charger. Make sure the rubber grotlet here, the sound dampener, 
I would assume it's four. It's sitting in the right place. Before we put the speaker down. Go. There. Ah, screw didn't get attached. Didn't see, but I thought I heard it. Have one of these screws. That all connected. I'll see if I can get some power to it. There, I'll get these speakers all back in. So it'd be a matter of putting these screws back on. Go. Next up, side panels. So we've got five screws to put in here. Yeah, there is a little notch on there, notch on here. Where do we match up to? Just have a go putting it that way. The contact soon followed. So there is a couple of little circles. There's one here. There was probably one there, but there's a little cutout circles here, and this notch bit here goes into the little cutout notch here. So that's how you know your orientation for this one. And there, it should be as simple as lining it up, getting in the, those two holes. On there. I've put the wrong side on, apparently. The notches aren't lining up. Yet they lined up on this one. And now this end, lining it up, line up the notch. Two holes here. Go. And screw that one in. So you do you will only be using five of the screws, even though it does look like there is more holes there. And now I have to misplace three screws. So I'll put them aside. I'll keep going for now just to see. No, there's no board in there. In theory, this should be able to go on here. in. Yep. And then this wraps around apparently. So I have done a slight weight reduction. We'll review the tape and see where that was. Hopefully that gives you a rough idea on how to fix up the charger port on your JBL. They're all clicking. Power is clicking. Port is charging. Hope that helps, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.